Hi everyone. So today we'll be talking a bit about a very important topic that is female sterilization or tubal ligation. We'll be discussing the important points that you should know for the exam. Now, firstly, remember it is a permanent method. It can be done to any woman as per the Government of India guidelines who has one child, at least one child above the age of one year and the woman should be between the age of 22 to 49 years of age. Now, the timing of surgery could be interval. Interval means six weeks postpartum or postmenstrual. That means not related to pregnancy. So, it can be done six weeks after delivery or at any time and it should be done ideally postmenstrual. that is after the woman has got her period within the first 10 days this is to avoid doing a ligation without in an inadvertent pregnancy so she might have ovulated conceived and then got pregnant we do not know because she's not yet missed her period so to avoid that situation it is to be done postmenstrually. the other way uh, timings it can be done are postpartum that is within 72 hours of delivery or along with a cesarean concomitantly or with an MTP following a suction evacuation along with the suction evacuation it can be done laparoscopically or a mini laparotomy can be done also two weeks after a medical abortion also tubal ligation can be done it can also be done with other surgeries what are the co common surgeries we usually do tubal ligation with are uh, for example if you're doing surgery for salpingectomy for an ectopic pregnancy and her family is complete or during a Manchester repair uh, so these are common surgeries where a tubal ligation is done concomitantly now the roots are abdominal and vaginal vaginal root is quite rare although it can be done uh, abdominal root is what is done most of the time either a laparotomy which again is uh, we do not give a very big incision but uh, we usually give a mini laparotomy that is an incision which is less than two centimeters or a laparoscopy so these are the routes by which it is which which um, tubal ligation is done now remember the different techniques we do a ligation with and these techniques are basically applicable to mini laparotomy and laparotomies so uh, what are the common the commonest technique the one which is recommended by the government of india is the pomeroy's technique you can see here we make a loop of the fallopian tube hold it with a babcock's forceps take a two centimeters loop and ligate the ends and then cut this loop off this is called the Pomeroy technique. The Parkland technique is similar. So the Parkland, Parkland, in the Parkland te technique, we ligate the proximal distal end and we cut off this in between portion of tube. This is the Parkland technique. In the mad linear technique, this has this is one which basically has a very high failure rate. So in the mad linear technique, what we do is we basically crush the base of this loop and we don't cut the loop off it's similar to pomeroy's the only difference is we don't cut the loop off so this is called as mad linear technique irving and uchida remember are basically techniques where the proximal and distal ends of the cut se cut ends of the tube are basically buried somewhere uh, so the proximal end in irving is buried inside the myometrium and the distal end is buried inside the mesosalpinx as you can see here so this is the irving method and the Uchida method is also similar. What we do is we strip off the serosa of the tube and then we leave the distal end as it is and we bury the proximal end in the mesosalpinx. This is the Uchida technique. So in, in, in the Irving and the Uchida, we're basically trying to prevent fistula formation um, between the two ends of the tube by burying the tubes uh, uh, in the mesosalpinx or the myometrium. The Kroner technique is basically a fimbriectomy. So if we're just cutting off the fimbria, as you can see here, this is the Kroner technique. And the Aldridge technique is basically burying the fimbria, not cutting off the fimbria, just burying the fimbria into the peritoneum. And this also, as, as you can see, it would, it would obviously have a very high failure rate. So the Aldridge technique has a fi high failure rate and the Madlener technique has a fi high failure rate. The Pomeroy's is good because it has a low fa failure rate and also has a good reversibility rate. If a woman wants a reversible, a tubal recanalization, Pomeroy has a good result and that is why the government of India chooses the Pomeroy technique in its uh, family planning program. Now, this I just put a picture here to show even a salpingectomy can be done. So, if, you, if the woman has a very... Um, uh, has an ectopic say ectopic pregnancy or she has a grossly distorted anatomically distorted tube you can directly do a salpingectomy where you can see the entire mesosalpinx is held with a clamp or an artery forceps and then we cut in between and remove the tube so this is a salpingectomy 
Now this is a picture of a laparoscopic tubal ligation. So in one of my earlier videos, you can see the entire video, but this is how the fallope rings are applied using a ring applicator on both the tubes. So this is laparoscopic tubal ligation. So I hope you've understood um, uh, a bit about uh, tubal ligation and uh, if you have any doubts, please put them in the comment section. Thank you.